Yo, BC, what's up? Bob here. It is a rainy Sunday morning. That's right. A Labor Day record show. I got everything I need. Record bag. <clears throat> Coupon to get in. And hard cold cash. That's right. <clears throat> Gonna try to find some great records. I'm here early, of course. So, I'm super excited. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Live at 2000. Good work, Dan. You did it. <laughs>
look at this. This guy. Where's that Bill Evans though? Killing with this. Oh Lord have mercy. Yo VC, what's up? Bob here. Welcome to Vinyl Finds on the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. As you can see from the top of the video, I went to a record show. It's Labor Day weekend. It started out a bit rainy, but has really shaped up to be beautiful. I was ultra excited to get in there and find some records, and I did. So without further ado, let's get started. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers drum suite this is clearly an Art Blakey record. It's all about drums, rhythm, percussion. He has a whole team of percussionists, including Candido on bongos. You've got Jackie McLean on alto, Oscar Pettiford on bass. Uh, Ray Bryant plays some brilliant piano in this. There are some super vibey tracks on here. This thing sounds incredible through my rig. And I was super stoked when I found it. It's VG+. Plus. I had been looking at an audiophile pressing of this record, but when I saw this mono 6i Columbia, I knew I had to have it. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers drum suite. Top copy right here. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. This next record, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about. I've found it several other times and I've talked about it a lot on the channel. That said, I'm in Kentucky, and when I go to these record shows, record fairs, record shows, I find that a lot of people there are looking for your typical stuff. Zeppelin, Floyd, Beatles, 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 Beatles. So, these jazz records tend to sit in the back deep in the recesses, in the crevices, and I rescued this record from a dusty bin, if you will. Lee Morgan's The Sidewinder, that's right. Original mono, deep groove, New York label. I paid the same amount for every record. $20 for every record I got. And that's how much I paid for this one. It's a pretty good copy. It plays really, really well. And, you know, it's... It's the Sidewinder, Joe Henderson, he's destroying on here. Barry Harris, he's a jazz genius. Bob Cranshaw and Billy Higgins. Lee Morgan is melting faces on here. That's all that needs to be said. If you don't have the Sidewinder, get a new classic series or just wait and one will pop up. I have multiple copies of the Sidewinder. It's a great record. It's odd, the more copies of the Sidewinder I get, the more I love the record because I'm just listening to it more and more and more. <laughs> anyway, next. Let's get out of the jazz records and into some other things. Here's a record that I was searching for for quite some time. And when I saw this first mono pressing on stacks, I knew I had to have it. Booker T and the MGs, Green Onions. Yeah, Booker T and the MGs, what a band. Steve Cropper on guitar, of course. This amazing record of some original compositions and some cover tunes like Ray Charles's I Got a Woman, Twist and Shout, things of that nature. Uh, it's an all instrumental record. We all know this record. If you like the organ, you're probably gonna like this. Steve Cropper coming in with those tasty licks on that Telecaster Master Souffle, yeah. Really beautiful copy on the blue Stax label. One of the cool things about this is on Discog, 154 people have it in their collections, but 422 are looking for this pressing. So that was a pretty good find. I got this next record from Dan at Motor Soul Records. Super cool dude and always has the goods. If you're looking for an awesome metal record, Dan at Motor Soul is the guy to talk to. Uh, this show was no different. This was a record I've been looking for to complete my Iron Maiden collection. 
It's my least favorite Iron Maiden cover, and in the world of Iron Maiden, the covers are very important, but I think it's the best Iron Maiden record overall. The Trooper, Where Eagles Dare, Flight of Icarus, yeah, those songs are on this record. Iron Maiden's Peace of Mind, this is a fantastic record. Dave Murray, Adrian Smith, Twin Lead Guitar Assault. Steve Harris is absolutely murderizing on the bass, and Bruce Dickinson is slaying on this record. This is a fantastic metal record. If you don't have it in your collection and you have any interest in Iron Maiden at all, this is the one to get. It is on Capitol, custom label, yeah. Super clean copy, and um, really, really cool. Super stoked on that. Iron Maiden's peace of mind, yeah. Yeah, that's right, I'm all over the map on this. Next. Speaking of records I've been looking for forever, Tom Waits, The Heart of Saturday Night. Jazz pianist, crooner, beatnik, avant-garde genius, Tom Waits. Look at this cover, it's incredible. This is on Asylum on the Clouds label. Looking, looking, and looking, I've been tempted to get a reissue. Kept passing on it. Now the reissues are going up in price. Jeffrey Lee Puckett has multiple copies of this record. Wouldn't part with any of them. No matter how much I begged him. This one's ultra clean. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I was getting it. This almost completes my Tom Waits collection. I only have one record left that I must have, and that is Bone Machine. I've basically been talking about Bone Machine since I started making vinyl videos. I still don't have it. The vibe on the title track is unbelievable. It's just acoustic guitar, upright bass, Tom, it's incredible. So, if you get a chance, at least just get on the internet and listen to The Heart of Saturday Night. It's an amazing song. Yeah, last but not least, a record that everybody has. I, <laughs> I had never even seen one in real life. This is a near mint copy, and I was, it, as soon as I flipped to it, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get it. It's not the original cover, but oh well. This is a, like a 69, 1969 cover here. The Zombies. Odyssey and Oracle. This is an outstanding sounding record. This pressing is, is if there was ever an audiophile record, this is it. It's on that date green label. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful copy of this record. If you were walking down the street and the Beatles were on one end and the Beach Boys were on the other, the zombies would live somewhere in the middle. Just, it's got the vibe. and. The fidelity on this thing is out of control. So, the zombies. Odyssey and Oracle. Time of the season. Mine is, has that on there. Some of them don't, you know. But, yeah. Anyway, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave a comment down below. Until we meet again, that's right, folks. Bob out.